movie we will add our footer so right here let's add the comment so adding the footer tag and this footer tag will have a class of bootstrap that will be bg dash dark and all of our footer will have a text of white so text dash white will be bootstrap class now inside our footer we will have one div with the class of container and our container will have one another div with the class of row so actually row means occupying the whole container because bootstrap is a responsive one so row means all of this length all of the length in any container or div so inside this div of row we will have one p tag that will have a bootstrap class of lead and also we will have all of our text to be placed in the center so you can apply the bootstrap class of text dash center similarly you can apply the class of text dash left or text dash right so here in this p tag i'm gonna first say theme by jazib akram now let's add the copyright symbol with html special characters and copy semicolon and let's add all right result now let's see what it's gonna look like so this one is right here so right after this div let's add one h1 tag for now so basic saving this one so it's not in the center although i told you earlier when we use bootstrap class of row row means occupying the whole area as every single row of our web page has 12 bootstrap column so in order to fully functional with row we have to specify the column how many columns we want out of that row so in our case we want all of the columns so you can mention all of 12 column like call dash md dash 12 or call dash lg dash 12 or you can simply mention div of call so div of call will have all the 12 column so i'm gonna wrap up all of this inside this div of call so div of row means occupying the whole row and div of call means occupying the 12 column out of that row so if i refresh my page now you can see this one in the middle so if i make this a bigger or a smaller one you can see it's still responsive and if i remove the call class from here you won't be able to see the proper working of our column so you can mention the exact number of column and in case if you are sure about that you are gonna occupy all the 12 column you can directly use this class of call that will have all the 12 column of bootstrap so right after this jazib akram i will add the year so you can add the year like this 2018 or 2019 but better way is by using javascript date functions so that you have a current year so right here right before the body tag i'm gonna add one custom script so this custom script will get some id so for example the id will be year so dollar means out of our jquery get the text and by using javascript function of creating 
a date we will get the full year out of our date now here we mention the year in hash format so I can mention the ID here so adding the span tag and this span tag will have ID of year so this one will match with this year and by using JavaScript it will add the current year right here so if I refresh my page you can see 2019 let's add one space between the copyright symbol so for saving your time I'm gonna drop couple of more information here so I added this p tag which have an anchor tag that have some built-in style and have this address and this trade symbol then my website name trade symbol udemy and so on so if I save this one and let's refresh our page you can see all of this information so let's make it in the center so we can add a bootstrap class of text dash center to make it in the center and let's also add one bootstrap class of small that will make it a bit smaller right it looks great now let's add this sky blue line at the end of our page so we have this div with 10 px here so I'm gonna copy it and pasting it here now refreshing my page it's looking great 